All right, let's go ahead and begin. We'll start in mountain pose. <clears throat> Just go ahead and make your way up to the top of your mat. We'll just take a few moments here as we continue to arrive in the space and begin our practice together. You might start with a few deep breaths, nice audible breaths, nice full inhale through your nose. And you can exhale through your mouth with a soft sigh. Let your shoulders relax. And maybe do that one more time. A nice full breath in. And a complete exhale. And then just continue breathing gently. And while doing so, check in with your body. Notice how you're feeling this morning. Maybe a little circling of the shoulders. Check in with your head and neck. I know for me, it's where I hold a, quite a bit of tension. So just want to give them a little awareness, a little light stretch. Send breath into these spaces. So you might do the same. Just Nice body scan all the way down your body. Slow, steady breath, some light movement. Paying attention to what your body might need this morning. How your yoga practice can contribute to you feeling good. We're focusing on dancer pose today, and dancer pose has a variety of features. It's a balancing posture. It incorporates a back bend, some hip openers. Continue to bring awareness to your breath and body. As you inhale, you might even feel your breath rising upward to fill your lungs. So perhaps a nice expansive breath. And with this exhale, as you're able, draw your navel in toward your spine. Just a light pulling inward sensation in your belly. Again, as you inhale, feel breath rising upward, filling up your lungs. Even feel the lengthening in your spine, feeling taller. And exhale, that light contraction of your abdominal muscles as you pull inward, the abdominal lock. And that sensation will certainly help us with movement, with our balancing today. It also just helps us be here in the moment in stillness. I'm just going to start with a very simple movement before we get into our flow. First, just take two more breaths in stillness. And then our simple movement, just an arm motion. So an inhale to extend your arms out and up, just reach into the sky. And exhale, just bring your arms right back down by your side. That's it, very simple. Do that two more times. You can go at your own pace with this. Then inhale, nice extension of your arms out and up. Nice reaching sensation, energy through your fingertips. Exhale, reaching out as if you're going to touch the walls on either side of you. Arms back down by your side. And then just one more time. Good lengthening, reaching, expanding the body. And exhale. And just hold here for a breath or two, returning to mountain pose. And we'll move into our half salute to the sun. When you're ready, inhale, float your arms out and up, another energetic reach. Exhale, fold forward, so hinge at your hips, bend your knees as much as you need to, and just guide your way down toward your toes. And inhale, slide your hands up to your shins, your knees, and extend your spine so it's a long, flat tabletop. Exhale, fold again, back down towards toes. This can be a partial fold, meaning you don't have to touch your toes here. Continue to check in with your shoulders, your neck, even your upper back or your chest. Notice the stretch in the backs of your legs and all the way down your spine. 
And from here, let's just return to a halfway lift. So inhale, slide your hands back up the legs. Just rise up halfway. So this is half forward fold right here. And keep that softness in your knees as you extend the spine. Feel the crown of your head, the top of your head guide you forward. Feel as if your hips and tailbone are drawing you to the back of the room. Let's finish our standing process. So shift your weight into your heels, bend your knees, feel as if you're about to sit. So lower your hips, lift your heart, arms out to the side, then inhale, rise up, reach into the air. And this exhale, you can bring your hands together down to your heart or bring your arms down to your side. And just pause here for a moment, take a breath. We'll do that same flow one more time. Here we go, inhale, reaching out and up. Feel the lengthening through the sides of your body. Exhale, fold forward, a good hinge from hips. Bend your knees, guide your way down all the way or partially. Inhale, rise up halfway, so slide your hands up to your shins or knees. Crown leads you forward. Exhale, fold again. Complete release here at the end as you're able. That same weight shift into your heels. Bend your knees, lower your hips, lift your heart. Arms out to the side and float all the way up, reaching into the sky. Exhale, hands to heart or arms down to your side. Go to another pause. Keep this connection with breath. Let it guide you through your practice. Remember, it's your practice. Move as you need to move, modify, and rest as you need to. Our full sun salute. Move at your own pace. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up. Exhale, fold forward. Always okay to bend your knees as much as you need to as you fold. Inhale, rise up halfway. We'll call it monkey pose. This exhale, fold all the way down. Bend your knees so you can place your hands on your mat out in front of you and walk or step or even hop both feet back to the back end of your mat. We'll pause here in plank pose, top of our push up. Strong straight line in the body. Breathe in. With the exhale, bend your knees a little and send your hips up into the air, moving into downward facing dog. You might need to adjust your feet a little, maybe tiptoe forward. You can widen the feet on your mat, even adjust your hands as you need to on your mat. Just settle in. You can just hold in place, breathing deeply as your body gets accustomed to the posture or add movement here. Maybe pedal your feet, stretch through your toes. Yes, feel sensation in your calves. Allow your knees to bend. Your hips might shift side to side. Yeah, check in with your upper body. A lot of strength as you hold yourself up. And if you need to, you can always rest. Just bring your knees to the floor. Maybe sit back into child's pose if you'd like. Moving from here, a nice full breath in. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, draw belly in, good core connection. Bend your knees, walk, step, or hop. Both feet return to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, spinal extension, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Weight shift into your heels, bend your knees. Then inhale, reverse your swan dive. Coming up, reaching high. This exhale, take chair pose. We'll keep the body in motion. Sitting back as if you're sitting back and down into a seat. It could be a high seat. It can certainly be a low seat. Nice extension out through the arms. We'll breathe in, ready to move. Exhale, dive out of your seat, down towards toes, forward fold. Inhale, rising halfway up. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, plant your hands, hop or step both feet back, plank pose. Pause for a moment. The first time we took a shortcut to downward facing dog. You can do the same thing here if you want, or with your next exhale, bend your elbows, squeeze them in towards your ribs and lower your body down towards the ground all the way if you'd like. Then press hands into the floor with an inhale, lifting upper body all the way to up dog or a partial lift to a cobra pose. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your knees, send your hips into the air or return to downward facing dog. Once again, make some adjustments with your feet and hands as you need to, and we'll continue with our sequence, yes. Whenever you are ready to move, inhale, extend your right leg up behind you, find the wall back there, and the exhale to step right foot to the top of the mat, landing near right hand. Once landed, rotate the left leg out so you can place the whole left heel on the floor, the whole foot's on the floor, shifting the weight back a bit so your hands feel light. Inhale, hinge from hips and rise up, reach into the air as you face forward. And exhale, hinge forward now, placing your hands back down onto the mat 
Strong connection, slide or pull the right foot back to match the other. Finish your sequence, you can modify this. You can send the knees to the floor first, then chest if you're moving through this vinyasa. This back bend can be low, locust or cobra. Then exhale, return to downward facing dog. So whatever sequence you choose, we'll always meet together in down dog. When you're ready, inhale, extend left leg up into the air, reaching back. Exhale, step left foot to the top of the mat, landing near left hand. Right heel will turn to the floor. Good connection. Find your center, good balance. Take your time with this as you need to. Then inhale, rise up. There it is, reaching into the air, active arms, hands and fingers. Exhale, hinge forward like you're folding. Coming down, plant your hands. Slide left foot back, plank pose. Complete your series. It can be the shortcut or some variation of movement of the body. As we meet together in downward facing dog. Take a few breaths in this inverted posture. And now some floor work. So gently bring your knees to the floor, sit back briefly in hero pose, and then sit off to the side here so you can swing the legs around to the front. You wanna sit in the center of your mat so you have room behind you so you can roll down onto your back. Once you're here, go ahead and draw your knees in towards your chest. Add some movement here as it feels good. <coughs> Awareness of breath, so you might take a few more deep breaths. And since we have some balancing work today, check in with your feet. You might want to circle the feet to loosen up your ankles a little bit. If you can, wiggle your toes. Flex the feet and point your toes. Before we move into bridge pose, just hold on to your knees or shins, a light flex of your feet, and just take the legs wide, just a light stretch in the inner legs, as if you're moving into happy baby pose. We're just not kicking the feet up into the air, just an opening here, a little lengthening and stretch in the inner legs. Just a couple breaths. You can bring the knees together and then set the feet down or just set the feet down. Preparing for bridge pose, so our back bend. When you're ready, nice full breath in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, empty your belly, just breathe out through your mouth. And then peel away from the ground, the hips lifting up. If you need to, make adjustments with your feet on the mat. And even, even your upper body, you might rock your upper body left and right several times in order to get your shoulders underneath you. So you're really kind of lying on top of the shoulders. Actually, it's the back portion of the shoulders. Arms can just be long and straight on the floor, or if you need a little extra stability and lift with the, for the upper body, bend your arms so they're at 90 degrees and press the triceps down into the floor as well as the shoulders so you can feel that lift in the upper body and it keeps you opened here. You might take some deep breaths. This is really getting us ready for dancer pose. It comes a little bit later because it is a back bend, but it has this quality of the body in that featured pose. Two more breaths. Noticing your legs, hip flexors, belly and heart space. And then wiggle your toes forward a little bit, making space so we can come out of the pose safely. Extend your arms up into the air to get the arms out from underneath you. And now roll your way down to the floor. Once you're down, let's extend the body. Extend your arms behind you. Nice reach and stretch as we extend your arms out in, or your legs out in front of you. Lengthening here in these opposite directions. Go ahead and draw both knees back into your body. Rise to seated so you can rock your way up to a seated position or even roll to one side and press yourself up to a seated. We'll come to boat pose. Lots of variations of boat. You can certainly do boat like this with 
feet and hands on the floor if you ever needed to. Okay, just know that this could be a variation of the posture. Or with free hands with feet on the ground. I'm going to lean back, let the feet float into the air. You can hold on to your legs. I do recommend activating your feet. You might flex your feet or point your toes just so your legs feel strong. Otherwise, they'll feel kind of loose here if the feet are loose. Okay, holding on if you need to. You can always free up the hands. Knees can stay bent or start to extend the legs. Another constant of this posture is certainly a long spine and deep breath. So breathing in, filling up your lungs. You might even exhale through your mouth so you can feel the air leave your belly. There you go. There, good. Let's move from here. So a breath in like you're floating up off the ground. Exhale, cross legs, hands to the front. Hop or step back into plank or hands to the side and just swing the legs back behind you and just return to plank pose. Return to the strong straight line. Together we'll all take a shortcut to downward facing dog. So just bend your knees a little, send your hips into the air. Continuing with our flow and inhale to extend right leg up behind you, reaching back energetically. Exhale, step through. So right foot to the top of the mat. Landing left heel turns to the floor behind you, feel rooted, shift your weight back, find your center, then with light hands you'll float right up, warrior one. Exhale opening to your left side towards the left wall or window, you'll be in warrior two, good. <clears throat> Adjust your feet as you need to, that's it, strong foundation, right knee and toes, pointing forward, outstretched arms, reach. And we're going to follow the right arm forward to angle the upper half of the body. Then rotate the arm so your right arm and hand will reach downward as your left hand reaches up into the air. Okay, so side angle pose. We'll start here. If your arm or shoulder is a little tired or even sore today, you can always modify that. If you just need to bring that left arm down, that's perfectly fine. But we're all going to do that. We're going to bring the arm down, left arm down, and bring it behind you. Bring the left hand behind you, maybe at your low back, or even at your left hip, or if you'd like, all the way around your body from behind to touch your right hip or right thigh. And if you have some mobility in your shoulder, circle it backward two or three times. Just a little circling of the shoulders. And then hold it back to open up through the heart space. And even at this angle, feel as if your torso or your whole upper body is trying to come this direction towards the front of the room. That's it. Nice adjustment. Okay, let's inhale, re-extend, left arm up into the air. Exhale, turn and fold, hands to the floor. Slide right foot back, plank pose, pause. Just for a nice realignment of the body. And then another shortcut to down dog. So soften the knees, send your hips into the air, make your adjustments. Other side, when you're ready, inhale, extend your left leg up and back, find the wall or ceiling. Exhale, left foot to the top of the mat for the lunge setup. Right heel turns to the floor, finding your center, hinging your way up, first warrior. Exhale, opening to the right side of the room to your second warrior. There's our adjustments with the feet, solid ground, solid bodies. <clears throat> Outstretched arms, energy through your fingers. Yes, then follow the left side of fingers forward, angled upper body a little or a lot. Rotate your arms, reaching down with the left hand while the right hand reaches into the air. This too can be modified. You don't have to touch the ground with the left hand. You can be much higher up. As long as you just feel opened in the heart space and hips. We've started with this right arm extended into the air. Now we're going to bring it down behind to low back or to right hip or around the body if you can. Maybe you're just touching the left hip or your fingers might be able to reach and touch the left thigh. Again, if you have that mobility available in your shoulder, roll the right shoulder back two or three times, little circles, and then hold it back to open up. And inhale, extend your right arm up into the air. Exhale, fold. 
Turn and fold. Hands to the floor. Slide left foot back. There's plank pose. Still okay to take the shortcut to down dog or complete your vinyasa. Maybe Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog as you inhale and exhale downward facing dog. Nice full breath in. With your exhale, walk, step, or hop. Both feet return to the top of the mat. You'll be in forward fold. Inhale, extend through the spine, monkey pose. Exhale, fold right there. <sighs> Weight shift into your heels, bend your knees. Lower your hips, lift your heart. Inhale, extend your arms out and then up into the air. Exhale, you can just bring your arms down to your side this time. Returning to our mountain pose, checking in. <clears throat> Shoulders elbows, wrists, and fingers. Let's get into some balance here. Starting in mountain pose, so feel grounded, balanced on two feet, softness in the knees a little, shifting your weight into your right foot. Put weight into this foot, root down into the floor, strong active leg. Then an inhale to extend through the spine, feel tall, so a breath in. In the exhale, pull belly in to engage. Now we're ready to pick up the left foot. Again, flexing the foot. So we have an active leg, maybe the thigh is parallel to the floor. Hold that for a moment. You're going to just swing this left knee out to the side, either just to the corner of the room or directly to the side of the room, whatever works for you. Then just placing this foot on the inside of your standing leg. It can be high above the knee on the inner thigh or below the knee at your calf and shin area. Or if you need a little extra support, use the floor with your toes. Then inhale, let's extend the arms up into the air. Nice reaching sensation, perfectly fine if the arms are out like this. You can even bend elbows. Each inhale, you're still growing tall, reaching, lifting yourself up, torsos rising, even rooting into the floor with this right foot. Exhale, pull belly in. Your focus, your eyes. You're looking directly forward or even downward a bit at the floor. Focus, concentration, helping with the balance. Nice. Keep the arms as they are. Let's swing the left knee forward and lift the foot away from the leg and then place the foot on the ground next to the other. And you can bring your arms back down by your side as you return to mountain pose and you can shake all that loose. <clears throat> yes, you need, if you need even more stability today for your tree pose, feel free to stand near a wall. Okay. Returning to mountain pose, balanced on two feet, soft knees, weight shift into your left foot, press into the floor, active leg, inhale nice and tall. Exhale, pull belly in, that's the abdominal lock. We'll peel the right foot away from the ground, parallel to the floor with the thigh. Flexed foot, swing the knee out. It's a nice hip opener there. To, and just let it stop naturally. And maybe placing foot on the inside of your standing leg, high, medium, or low. When you're ready, inhale, sweep the arms up into the air. Good reach. Be a slight bend in the elbows or more bend. Focus is forward or, to, or downward. Just drop your eyes, not your head, just your eyes so your neck is long. Just your eyes focusing downward or forward, breathing. When we focus on something with our eyes, whether it's the wall or floor, or even part of your own body, it's called drishti or dristi. And that might even help as we get into our dancer pose a little bit later. Let's keep the arms extended, swing the right knee forward, lifting your knee with a flexed foot, and then place the foot on the floor next to the other arm, returns down to your side. And shake all that loose, completing that series. Good job. We'll continue our flow. Continue to move at your own pace. Inhale, sweep your arms into the sky. Exhale, take chair pose. That weight shift into the heels and hips. Once in the seat, inhale, nice extension through your arms. Exhale, diving out of your seat. Back down towards toes, forward fold. Inhale, rise up halfway. Long, flat back, good. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, plant your hands into the floor, hop or step back into plank pose. Come down if you'd like, Chaturanga Dandasana or some variation of flow and movement. There it is. Inhale, up dog or cobra, and exhale, downward facing dog. Just moving with breath through this series. 
When you're ready, inhale, extend right leg up into the air. Let's hold for a second, feel a little bit longer as you're able. While we're here, let's open the hip. So bend your knee, bring your heel down towards backside. There you go. A little lift of the knee towards the ceiling, very slightly. So you feel that slight twist in the spine, but definitely the hip opener. Breathe in right where you are. Exhale to unwind from that rotation. Step right foot to the top of the mat. Land your right hand. Left heel turns to the floor, finding your center. Again, with light hands, we'll open the lid of the box as you inhale, rising up. Exhale, opening to warrior two. Some quick adjustments with your feet for a solid foundation. Right away to side angle pose. Reach out. Rotate the arms. This time, follow the left hand over your head, reaching towards the front of the room. Even flip the palm so it's facing towards the floor as you extend and lengthen through the left side of your body. We're still in motion, so breathe in and exhale a careful turn. Fold, hands to the floor. Step back into plank pose. Pause for a second. Good, then finish your series. Chaturanga Dandasana, perhaps, yes, elbows squeeze in towards ribs, lowering your body. Inhale, open your heart for your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stepping into place, ready for the other side. Inhale, extend left leg up and back, reach. Feel the extension and then open the hip, bend your knee. Heel comes down towards backside. <clears throat> a little lift of the knee, a little twist. Inhale right where you are. And exhale, we'll unwind, step through. Left foot to the top of the mat, near left hand. Right heel turns to the floor, strong foundation. Then hinge your way up, first warrior. And exhale, opening to your warrior two. Maybe the feet are a little bit farther apart, a deeper lunge, perhaps. Side angle, reach out. Angled upper body, rotate the arms. Right hand now reaching overhead, reaching through your fingertips dynamically, palm faces the floor. Feel what's happening down through the right side of your body. You might even feel your right foot press more firmly into the floor at the same time to create that space. Let's breathe in and our exhale to carefully turn, fold, return to the ground with the hands, left foot pulls back, finish your sequence as you'd like. Meeting in downward facing dog, a couple breaths. And then gently set your knees onto the floor. So they're directly underneath your hips. You're on hands and knees, just a tabletop here. Just tap your right foot because you're gonna swing your right foot off to the right side, creating a kickstand for balance. Put some weight over into that right side so you can extend the left leg back. So that Lifting the knee, but keep the toes on the floor. You're just going to open up your body towards the left side of the room, towards the windows there, and just reopen. And just as we did in that side angle pose, maybe reach overhead, reaching through your fingertips towards the front of the room with the palm facing downward. So really reach. Now with the left foot, it's just perhaps just acting as an anchor on the floor. So you might even just activate the foot, point the toes or flex the foot. You can even lift the foot off the floor if you want, Not just an option right here. Breathe in, and the exhale, a slow return to the earth. Left hand, left knee, bring the right kickstand back in so you have returned to this tabletop. While we're here, cat and cow. Maybe two breaths, cat and cow. Starts with cow, that's the inhale. Creating the back bend. Exhale, round it all out, chin to chest. Go at your own pace. Two, maybe three breaths. And then we'll just finish in this tabletop position, preparing for the other side. That same side plank variation. Just tap the left foot. We'll swing the left foot off to the side. There's our kickstand. Shifting weight into that left side. Extend the right leg back. Keep the toes on the floor for your anchor and then opening up sideways. Right arm initially maybe reaching up into the air as you open up through the front body and then extend the right arm over your head, reaching through your fingertips, palm facing the floor. Keep the right foot active, pointed toes or flexed foot. And of course that foot can remain on the ground 
or lift it. <clears throat> Good extension, reaching, just opening up through the right side body. Here we go, breathe in. In your exhale, slow return to the earth. Right hand, right knee, left foot comes back in from the kickstand, cat and cow. <clears throat> You. Pause in your tabletop, tuck your toes under, and lift your knees and hips downward facing dog. Another lunge sequence. So inhale, extend your right leg into the air, reach and hold, feel this nice length. Hold for a second, get longer. Then ready to move, first breathe in, and the exhale, step right foot to the top of the mat. Let's go to a high lunge this time, so left heel remains lifted, all 10 toes are pointing forward. We still weight shift the body back, so there's that balance, light hands rise up, reach into the air, so we're here. You're reaching high and lunging low. Okay, and perhaps noticing what's happening on this left side. This hip flexor gets a nice little stretch and pull here, especially with the good extension through this left side, reaching up. We're going to hinge forward about 45 degrees, like so. Keep extending, reaching out, pushing through the back foot, push and step forward into chair pose. We're going to stand up tall, extended mountain. We're going to keep it moving, even gaze upward so your drishti is up. Exhale, swan dive. Back down towards toes here. Inhale, slide hands up the shins, flat back, monkey pose. Exhale, fold, return to the earth with the hands, hop or step back, plank pose. And just return to down dog. Just take a shortcut to downward facing dog. <clears throat> Do the same thing with the other side. Inhale, extend your left leg into the air. Reach and hold, another breath, feeling longer. <sighs> Breathing in, then your exhale, step left foot to the top of the mat in your left hand. Right heel stays lifted, so everything's facing forward. That's it. Then shifting the body weight back, so you have light hands rising at high lunge. Or crescent lunge, nice and tall. Reaching high, lunging low. Okay. okay, as you kind of get deeper into that lunge and more reach, you ex experience with the right side especially. Notice what's happening on this right side, the upper thigh, hip flexor region, right through the belt line, even through the abs and psoas area here. And you're also in a slight back bend, but we're getting out of that back bend sensation as we hinge forward about 45 degrees, reaching out. And we push through the back set of toes so we can step forward into chair pose. <clears throat> That's it. Nice and tall, extended mountain pose, reaching high, gaze upward, and exhale, arms down to the side, gaze forward. Just returning to mountain pose. And just shake all that out, take a few breaths. <clears throat> Excellent. Okay. While we're still in standing, just join me when you're ready. Inhale, reach the arms up. Now reach behind you as if you're reaching to the back corners of your mat. Active hands, strong straight arms. Just first, just reach for the back corners. And with the arms behind us, it gets the shoulders back behind us. Kind of opens up through the front deltoid and through the front pectoral area, and if you can, you can stay like this, or if you can, interlace your fingers here, just as an option today. Interlace your fingers and maybe reach towards your heels with the knuckles, dropping the shoulders down away from the ears, and maybe roll the shoulders back or squeeze the shoulders back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. We'll just add a little bend of the knees, let them jet forward just a little bit, tip over so you're kind of in a chair-like position. And just with the knuckles or fingers, just reaching back behind you. And just slightly away from the body if you're able. Long neck. 
in two more breaths. We're going to rise back up. You can release your fingers. Inhale, reach into the air, perhaps gaze upward, only if it feels okay on your neck. Exhale, lead with heart and fold forward. Monkey pose, slide hands up to the shins, extending through the spine. Exhale, fold and bend, hands to the floor. Hop or step back into plank pose. You're welcome to move through a vinyasa here, meeting in down dog. You can always take the shortcut or some variation of movement to return to down dog. All right, from here, just take a seat. You can come to hero pose. Just kneel down and sit back into hero if that feels okay, even if it's just briefly, but then you can just take a regular seat. Just sit on the floor and just relax for a moment. <clears throat> Let me show you what's coming next. We are gonna go back down to the floor and return to bridge pose. So this was our original bridge. I like to take my feet a little wider than hips. For me, it just gives me more space in my hips and back when I lift, okay? Compared to if the knees are a little bit more narrow for me, okay? So I'm lifting here. So the, it gets us up pretty high and I can reach, I mean, I have long arms and fingers, but I can reach my feet here. But that's what we're gonna be shooting for. Either this condition, just like this, Okay, just reaching for the feet if you can, just noticing if your fingers touch the heels. Here's another variation. We'll start here on our backs, drawing knees in. You're gonna make a C shape, like you're doing a sign language with your hands, and make the letter C, and come from the outside of the legs and grab hold of your ankles, okay? Then as I exhale, I'm going to set my feet onto the floor. This is all an exhale, placing feet on the floor and then lifting hips right up into the air. Getting the shoulders underneath by rocking left and right. And I've got a good hold of my ankles here. And because of my formation, I think I'm relatively able to keep the knees over the ankles here. But if you're trying to get to this position and you're holding on, but you find that your knees or way out this way, or your heels are lifted, okay, then don't do this, okay? I'd say release, the hand, release and free up the hands, keep the feet solid on the ground and keep this alignment, knees over ankles, so you're not driving too much pressure in the knees, okay? But, and then just stay here, just maybe touching or just reaching towards the heels, alrighty? So let's go ahead and lie down onto the back and we'll prepare for this. So it's just taking bridge pose a little bit deeper by holding on to the feet, if you're able. So you can, if you haven't done it or you wanna try it out and see where you are, <clears throat> you can always check it out. All righty. So for, <clears throat> so for now, just feet on the floor, just comfortable, ah, relaxed. And you can move right into bridge here, just lifting hips. You can keep the arms on the floor and maybe your fingertips are just reaching for your feet and maybe that's the end of your pose or return to your back or stay on your back, bring knees to chest, make the letter C with your hands, come from the outside and grab your ankles from the outside. And then as you're exhaling, set the feet down and then immediately lift the hips up into the air. Mm -hmm. You wanna feel as if your chest or your heart is lifting up and it's moving to the back of the room. But if it feels like your knees are coming forward as you're lifting up, that's a different sensation. <clears throat> and if it feels too much, if it feels like there's too much pressure in the knees, then you may want to release the ankles if you're holding on to them. Step your feet forward a little bit. So you still have that straight line of shins straight up and down, knees over ankles or heels. Okay, so just check in and just feel where you are in this posture. Three more breaths. Good. And if you were able to hold on to the ankles, release, step or wiggle the feet forward, extend your arms up into the air. We want to have some good space. So you can roll your way back down to the floor without any compression in the spine. And to ensure that decompression lengthens, would so lengthen your legs out front, reach your arms behind you and create that active stretch. Good. 
Now, once again, bring both knees into chest. Let's make our way back up to seated and into boat pose. Really just for transition, we're not gonna hold it as long as before. And a nice extended spine, active feet, deep breath. So we're gonna inhale here like you're floating up off the ground. Exhale, cross legs, hands in front, hop or step back, plank pose. Once again, set the knees, both knees onto the floor. We're gonna to return to that side plank. We're gonna add something to it, okay? So we're gonna make a kickstand with the right foot. So swing the right foot off to the right side, extend your left leg back behind you and open up to the left side. So you're in your side plank there, yes, good. Reaching left hand overhead, reaching through your fingertips, palm is down. Let's activate the left foot. And as you're able, lift the left foot. I might even suggest flexing the foot and then lifting. So we have a nice strong leg, active foot. And since the foot is free, it's reaching for that back wall while left hand is reaching to the front wall. There. We're going to try to recreate what we just did on the floor in that bridge pose. So bend the left knee, bring your heel toward your backside, bring your left hand behind you. Now here's some options. Maybe you could just touch the heel or just touch the foot. That's fine. If you're able to grab hold of it, grab hold of it. Okay? And keep sending the foot to the right wall behind you while your heart feels like it's pushing or opening up more towards the left side of the room. It just creates more of this back bend. Okay, these, this too gets us ready for dancer pose. Let's release the foot, re-extend the leg, extend the arm overhead, return to our hands and knees. Left hand down, left knee down, kickstand comes back in, and a little massage with our cat and cow. Coming out of that back bend sensation and just giving the back body a little relief. And we'll get set up for the other side. So we'll make a kickstand with the left foot as it swings off to the side. Extend your right leg back behind you. Toes can stay on the floor here. Opening up. Right arm initially reaching straight up into the sky as you open the heart. And then send right hand overhead. Fingertips reaching for the front wall. Palm down. And we're going to activate the right foot and let it float into the air. And again, I might suggest flexing the foot pushing through the heel towards the back wall, fingers still reaching this direction. You're extending the spine, getting more space in the side bodies because you're gonna create a back bend, so you want as much space as possible. And go ahead and bend your right knee, heel reaching to your back, back end. And as you're able, reach back, even just touching the heel. Maybe you can't reach the foot at all, but you're just reaching for the air. That works fine too, just as long as your arm feels like it's behind you. Like we did standing, I just had your arms reaching back, that's fine because you're still creating this back bend variation. Yes. You might be able to deepen it, some of you. I feel like the foot you're holding onto is reaching towards the windows of the left wall, your heart and belly opening up to the right wall, the wall you're facing. Let's release, re-extend the leg and arm, opposite directions for that reopening, and return to the earth, hand and knee. Bring the kickstand back in. Feel this nice realignment and then the spinal flow through this cat-cow flow. Good, let's return to a downward facing dog. Let's just go through another lunge sequence here. Just a repeat of what we've already been doing. When you're ready, inhale, extend right leg up, bend and twist open. Then unwind it and step through. Right foot to the top of the mat, back to warrior one. Left heel turns to the floor. Find your center, rising up. Exhale, opening warrior two. And again, maybe a little wider in the stance, a deeper lunge, just an option. Shifting forward, angled upper body, rotate the arms, reach down, reach up. Again, we're gonna bring the left hand down behind us. Okay. You can stay just like this. We have those other options of where the hand can be. Another option today, you might want to bind this pose. If you're low enough, your right arm might reach underneath right leg and reach up and find the left hand or fingers. 
Again, just an option is reaching. Inhale, release and re-extend the arms floor to ceiling. Turn, fold, hands to the floor. We're going to sweep the right foot back and right up into the air. You're returning to down dog with the right leg re-extended in the air. Strong, straight line. Inhale. Exhale, step right foot to the top of the mat for high lunge. Left heel stays lifted. Find your center, rising up. Reach high, lunge low. Keep reaching. I'm going to add something here. Let's wiggle this right foot forward a little bit. Just more distance between the feet here. Keep reaching high. With an exhale, let's bend this left knee and lightly land on the knee. Bring the arms down. We're going to lean forward. Left hand on the floor. I just have my right hand resting on my thigh at the moment. I'm just lengthening this back foot top of the foot on the floor and just gently kind of sinking into this hip, not too forcefully, just kind of settling in, almost letting gravity kind of pull me down into the posture. And again, kind of making sure, check in with this front leg, making sure the left right knee isn't way out past the toes here. That's why I had us wiggle the foot forward so we don't put too much pressure in this knee. Now you can stay just like this, but here's an, an, another option if you'd like. I'm gonna bring my right hand to the floor on the inside of the right foot, getting way forward. <clears throat> so I can pick up this left foot or bend the left knee, reach back, and maybe just touch the heel or ankle or even grab hold of the foot and just draw it inward or just hold in place. You'll get into this left quad, but it's another option, another way of reaching back to grab hold of your foot, okay? And there are different ways to to get it, Maya's got it. If you get, if you got a flexible shoulder, can can almost go over your head like that to grab foot. It's another way to kind of get that shoulder, or just outwardly spiral to go get foot. If that makes sense. Two more breaths. Okay, or you're just reaching for air behind you like this. Okay, we're going to release the foot to the floor. Okay, shifting the weight back a bit. Bring both hands up to thigh. All righty, I might even bring this foot in a little bit, making sure I have a nice 90 degree angle here in both legs, tuck toes behind, arms up into the air, inhale for the reach, exhale, squeeze legs together, push and lift, return to the high lunge, hinge forward. It may take several steps, but just push forward until we're in chair pose. Stand up tall, inhale. Exhale, just bring the arms down, reach back behind. Reach for the back corners. Interlace fingers if you'd like. That little chair pose, bend the knees, let them jet forward, tip. Really opening up the shoulders. Then inhale, release the fingers, reach up into the air, tip gaze upward, exhale, swan dive. Monkey pose, inhale, rising halfway up. Exhale, fold and bend, hands to the floor, hop or step back. <clears throat> Come on down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog, and exhale, downward facing dog, or any flow, perfect, to get you to down dog. Same sequence, inhale, extend left leg into the air, bend and twist. Then unwind it, step through, left foot to the top of the mat, back to our warrior one, right heel to the floor, centering, take your time, rising up, first warrior, exhale, warrior two, maybe a wider stance. Side angle pose, reach out, rotate here, reach high and low. Right hand comes down behind you, maybe to low back, or around the body to the left hip, or rest on right hip, or that other option, Getting a little lower for the bind. Left arm reaching underneath left leg, finding right set of fingers. If you're in that bind, we're releasing. Inhale, re extend the arms, floor to ceiling. And a turn, fold, hands to the floor. Sweep your left foot back and up into down dog, re extending left leg high in the sky. 
Next exhale, return left foot to the top of the mat, high lunge this time. Right heel stays lifted. Finding your center, rising up, yes. Okay, so we have that whole sequence here. <clears throat> Here's our lunge, reaching high, lunging low, already experiencing that sensation in that right leg as we reach high. Okay. Wiggling this left foot forward, so it's deepening the lunge, but it's going to get us in a safer condition once we're in that kneeling lunge. Inhale, reach high, exhale, squeeze legs together, belly pulls in as we gently bring right knee to the floor. You can bring the arms down, flatten that back foot. To get out of that back bend, you can just bring right hand to the floor, left hand is just resting on thigh. Check in with left leg to see if your angle is good for your joints, and then maybe allowing gravity to, to kind of help you sink into this lunge, or just a gentle press, but not forced. Breathe into it, maybe it's an exhale to help you uh, kind of settle into that. Okay, again, this can be the finale of this pose, or you might even bring the left hand to the floor, bend the right knee, picking up that foot, reach back with the right hand, either catching the air, touching the foot, the heel perhaps, or grabbing hold of the ankle. Okay, noticing what's happening there. Good. Wonderful variations. Deep breaths. How about two more breaths? We'll release the foot, lower it to the floor, come out of that sunken hip sensation. Let's rise up, let me bring the hands back up to the thigh. I'm just gonna pull my left foot back again. Nice 90 degree angles with both legs. So I have the leverage to come back up to the lunge. Tuck the toes behind and extend the arms up into the air. And inhale. Five degrees. Stepping forward, even if it takes several steps, chair pose. We're going to reach all the way up or stand all the way up. This, we'll just bring the arms down to the side. We'll complete the series there. Shake it loose. Okay. All righty. <clears throat> it's ready to break down our uh, dancer pose. Okay. And so I think we've got all the components. We've done them already to put them into our dancer pose. So together, starting in mountain pose, a little softness of the knees, we'll shift the weight into the right foot. Here you're just going to kick this left foot back, okay? Kick the left foot back, flexed foot. Let's try this. You're going to open your palm so it's facing forward. That's that outer rotation of the shoulder here. So you can then reach back and if you're able, catch the inside edge of your foot. Okay, so your thumbs up top, fingers wrapped underneath. If the leg pulled away like mine did, that's fine. That might even help you get the foot, but then hug it back into center. Okay, squeeze it in. Doesn't have to touch the other leg, but to squeeze it back into center. Make sure your right knee is soft. We'll extend the right arm into the air, reach. Now this could be the end of your pose, just like tree pose. You're reaching up and down. You're hugging to center line through the belly and through the inner thighs. Okay, here's the next little piece. Okay. Keep bending the right knee so like you're going straight down. So you're going to bend and drop down. You're going to tip a little bit like you're pouring water out of a tea kettle. And then extend, reaching out through this right arm. And even send this left knee or left hand to the back of the room a little bit. You can do that again. Bend the knee, go down. Tip your tea kettle and then extend. The extension is a reach out and a lift up, which creates the back bend. Your focus, you might even do a, a mudra with your hands or just look at your fingers or look out past your fingers. All righty. You're going to rise back up, hug inner thighs towards each other. As you get tall, release the left foot, bring the foot down to the floor next to the other, both arms up and
shake it out, hold there for a second. So you can kind of decide where you want to go with this pose. Again, this can be even if you want to bring a hand out front, just a slight tip, whatever you want to take with this. Okay, even you don't even have to create the back bend. You can just tip without creating the back bend. Okay, just reach. Okay, the back bend comes when this arm and chest lifts and that back leg lifts. Okay, <clears throat> other side, whenever you're ready. Soft knees. We're putting weight into the left foot. We kick the right foot back, maybe flex foot so it's just active. Outer rotation of this right arm. Palm is forward and reach back, see if you can catch the inside edge of the foot. Thumb on top, fingers underneath. If the leg went that way, we're just pulling it in towards inner thigh, so we're maintaining that centering. Left arm reaches into the air, okay? That's the beginning, that could also be the end. Focus is forward or slightly downward. Then bend the left knee so you go down. Tip your tea kettle and then extend to create a minor back bend or go again to make it a little deeper. Bend the knee more, tip your tea kettle, and extend more. Focus can still be on the floor or past your fingers or create a mudra. Well done. We're rising back up, hugging inner thighs towards each other. Once you're tall, you can release the right foot to the floor, bring both arms up into the air, reach, exhale, arms down to your side so you can finish that sequence. Very nice. <clears throat> Shake it loose. Okay, stay there. So the sequence is going to start in our dancer pose. Let me just hop into this pose for a moment. So wherever you are, let's say it's here for your dancer pose, okay, we're going to move into a high lunge. So I'm going to bend the right knee more. I'm just getting closer to the ground. I'm just going down. Nice quad work there. I'm getting closer to the ground so I can release that foot so the toes can hit the ground quickly. Okay? So you're not way up here, nice and tall, and just trying to find the floor. Like, where's the floor? <clears throat> okay? Just bend and just, you can just, oh, there's the floor. And then both arms up. <sighs> okay? And we'll open up to a warrior two. And we'll flow from there. Okay? So here's our mountain pose. <clears throat> Dancer pose, right foot rooted into the floor, kick left foot back. Now, you can, you can, if it's easier to catch the outside of the foot or leg, catch the outside. If you want to catch the inside, do that, because you're going to be letting go anyway. <clears throat> right arm into the sky, okay. hugging to center line, legs, belly. Bend the right knee, tip the tea kettle, maybe extend. You can do that again or stay right where you are. Okay, we're going to the high lunge, so you might bend right knee more. Going down, release the left foot down and touch ground behind you on the toes. Find your center, high lunge, both arms up. Yes. <clears throat> Inhale, and little, maybe you tip your gaze upward for more of a back bend. Exhale, open it to a warrior two. Let's go ahead and take this to a side angle. Reach forward, reach out. Take left arm overhead, reaching toward the front wall. Nice extension. Good, lengthening. Inhale. Exhale, turn and fold. Bring your hands to the floor. Step back, plank pose. Stay in plank. <clears throat> Let's bring right knee to the floor. Make a kickstand off to the side, opening up sideways. Left hand up and then overhead with the left hand towards the front wall. Flex the left foot and lift. We want the extension, and then we create the back bend. Bend the left knee, reach back. Touch the air, touch the foot, or grab hold of foot or ankle. Heart opening, there's another back bend. Nice. Let's release and re-extend. Nice stretch. Good, return to the earth. Left hand, left knee, right foot comes back in. Two breaths, cat and cow. Hold that second cat pose, tuck your toes, lift knees and hips, you'll return to a downward facing dog. Full breath in, exhale, walk, step or hop, both feet up to the top of the mat, stay on your feet. Inhale, monkey pose, long flat back. Exhale, fold. Weight shift into the heels, bend your knees, inhale, reverse your swan dive, grow tall, 
Get that nice extra extension here at the top. Exhale, arms down to your side. Since we've got all those back bends, we want to get as long and lengthened as possible in between. Other side, soft knees, shifting weight to left foot, starting with our dancer pose. Kick right foot back. Right hand can catch the outside or inside of that leg, whatever is easier. Hug that leg in, left arm in the air. Do energize the foot that's being held. <clears throat> Bend the left knee so you dip down a little bit and then pour out the water from your kettle and extend. Stay there or go again. Bend, tip, extend. Focusing forward or on the floor. Bend left knee more, release right foot to the ground behind you for the high lunge. Both arms sweep up into the air. Nice, another inhale. You might create more of that back bend. Reaching. Exhale, turn, fold, hands to the floor, plank pose. Hold plank for a moment. Feel the strength and energy here. And then gently set left knee onto the floor underneath the hip, make a kickstand. Opening up sideways, right arm straight up into the sky initially, and right arm overhead, flexing right foot so you can lift the foot. Nice, strong, straight line. Back bend, bend the right knee, reach back for the air, Touch the foot or grab hold if you're able. Opening up through the heart. Releasing to re-extend the leg and the arm. Return to hands and knees, right hand, right knee. Kickstand comes in, two or three breaths, cat and cow. And then sit back into hero pose or just a comfortable position, okay? We've made it to the bonus round, <clears throat> okay? You can play for the big money for this one, okay? <clears throat> All righty, so we're gonna come back to this pose and you're welcome to, to just do this again. And if you're here, okay, I'm just gonna break it down a little bit. So here, maybe you're just reaching back. Maybe you just reach back a little bit more, okay? Just see what, depth you can take this or if you can grab hold we're taking it way back taking that leg back just to this back wall heart forward tip the head back so we just deepen the posture okay so that's one variation for the big money <clears throat> for the trip to hawaii okay it's it's side plank here okay Take your side plank <clears throat> to that same back bend or just a little arched variation, okay? All righty. So let's return to hands and knees. And you choose which version you'd like to take. So you can just keep doing it on the knees again. Start with the right foot, right off, uh, right, kickstand, right foot to the right side, opening up to the left side of the room, or straight legs for side plank looking out the window. <clears throat> and if the legs are straight, make sure they are straight and flex both feet so the legs are strong. Lifting the foot, bend the knee, can you reach back and grab hold? Or you reach for the air or ankle, there you go, nice jump. Okay, that flex foot just keeps that one foot, that one leg that's still on the floor very strong. Let's release, return to the earth. Good, rest if you need to, whatever pause you need to do there, and then whenever you're ready, other side, take your time, rest the wrists. Mm -hmm. Nice, okay. So whatever version you're choosing, you're just seeing if you can just tap into it just a little bit more without forcing the body. Like maybe you can just reach back a little bit more, open the heart a little bit more. Nice, Marcia. Good job, yes. It's such a balancing act, isn't it? Just getting into that pose. Good, if that left foot on the floor, flex, strong. You wanna feel like the left inner thigh is lifting up towards the ceiling. There it is, good. 
and then return to the ground. Okay, cat, cow. Then child's pose. child's pose, just returning to the awareness of your breath, deep breaths, feel the body begin to soften and ease a bit from your dynamic flow in practice so far. Maybe just two more breaths here. When you're ready to move, make sure these movements are slow and careful and intentional. You might rise up to hero pose, just so that you can sit off to the side. Again, swing the legs around to the front. Scoot so you're sitting in the center of your mat and gently roll down onto your back. Give yourself a well-deserved hug here. You can add some movement. Check in with the feet and ankles. When we were here earlier, I had you move into that little inner thigh stretch by holding onto the knees or shins, light flex of the feet, and open the legs for a little inner leg stretch. You can do that again, or take this to happy baby pose or reclining cobbler's pose or bound angle. So choose the hip opener that might feel good. It might be all of those or a couple of those or just one or something different. Another option here is certainly eye of the needle pose or reclining pigeon. You need a different sensation. Very nice options there. cross-legged version there to get into the outer hips. Uh, kind of like cow face pose, but on your back. After your hip openers, you might add an inverted posture. Maybe perhaps just extending both legs straight up into the air or sit on, a, up, sit on a block like you're preparing for bridge. Sit on a block and then extend the legs or even take this to shoulder stand. So something just upside down, the legs are up. Use the support that you need. If you happen to be in shoulder stand, plow pose is an option. If that feels okay on your neck and shoulders, just be mindful. After your inverted pose, feel free to choose another back bend like fish, or even another bridge pose. You might then finish with a twist, spinal twist. Continue to notice your breath. Notice how you feel. Again, our dancer pose incorporated many things, balance, focus, concentration, nice opening through the front body, back bends, heart openers, hip flexor release, shoulder release, <coughs> strength, stability. Whenever you feel complete with all of your movements, find rest, find ease, 
And that might be in Shavasana or any other restorative pose, just for a few minutes, settling into the breath. Return to the awareness of your breath. Just notice your breath. With this awareness, take five slow, steady breaths. Breathe, breathe into the spaces you've opened this morning. Feel movement return to your body. When you feel ready, take your time. Move in slow motion. Guide your way over to one side of your body. Pause here in this nurturing pose. And then from here, still moving in slow motion, guide your way up to seated. Sitting tall and proud, a lengthened spine, relaxed open shoulders, an open heart. You can let your hands rest in your lap. We'll bring hands to heart center. Just take one more breath. And as we come to the close of our practice together, we bow saying, Namaste. Thank you so much for watching and participating in this yoga lesson. To help us with the channel so we can continue to bring you more content, Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's really appreciated. Namaste.